Hi, so in this video we're going to learn how to play all the percussion parts for the Rock School Isolation uh, project. So if you've got, if you're a drummer and you've got a drum kit at home, great, play the drum kit part if you want to, that would be fantastic because I don't have a drum kit at home so I can't do the drum kit part. Um, so if you've got a drum kit, follow the drum kit music. Um, it's exactly the same as what's in the original song um, and play it along with our recording. It will all make sense because all the junk percussion parts are broken down from the uh, drum kit part. So it will all fit together really nicely. It'll be quite obvious hopefully where, where you need to play and what you need to do. So like I said, drum kit, great. Get your drum kit part, go play along with it, fantastic. If you haven't got a drum kit at home or you want to play the percussion part and you're not a drummer or whatever, great. Grab some pots and pans and a bin we're going to play the junk percussion parts. So what you're going to need is if you're going to play the bass drum part, you're going to need a big bin. This is my kitchen bin, upside down, obviously empty at first. Parents aren't going to be too happy with litter everywhere. So what you're going to do if you're going to play that is you're going to put it between your legs, sit on a chair comfy and tilt it away from you so that the head is facing that way. Okay. Uh, if you want to play the congas part, then you need a bin as well. Same bin is fine. And you'll also need a sauce, small saucepan and a wooden spoon. Okay, so that's to play the cowbell part. Congas and cowbell are on the same part, so you need both if you want to play congas cowbell. Okay, if you want to play shaker, grab a Tupperware, half fill it full of dried rice or dried beans, not baked beans. Uh, and you're going to shake it like that, and that's going to be your shaker. Don't fill it up too high because it needs room to move around, otherwise it won't shake properly. And then if you want to play the toms part, which is on a wok, I would suggest balancing it on top of your bin because um, you get a nice resonant sound then. Turn it upside down and you're going to need two wooden spoons, okay? So we're going to start with the bass drum part first, okay? Because that's the easiest one. So if you're not 100% confident at this or you're doing it and you're not really a percussionist or a drummer, bass drum part, great part to play, really easy, okay? So all you're going to do is you're going to get your strongest hand, whatever it is, right or left, okay? You're going to use your palm here and you're going to hit it nice and strong in the middle of the bin so you get a nice resonant sound. Like that, okay? Bounce it off as well, okay? And that'll give you a really nice big bass drum resonance sound. All right, so um, we don't play in the intro. We play. We start halfway through verse one. Can you see we've got eight bars rest and then we start, okay? So you're going to play it on every other beat. So you're going to play it on beats one and three, all right? Because so you've got minims in your music. So you're going to play a one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Like that, okay? So that's your bass drum pattern, all right? When we get into the pre-chorus, we've got a sort of stop at the end, sort of in the last two bars. So you just need to make sure you pay attention. So it's going to be... And they come unstuck. And then we're back into the chorus again, okay? And we play all the way through the chorus. Verse two, we play all the way through that. So you're going to keep going. Try not to hit it too hard because you're going to end up with a sore hand. Pre-chorus, again, we've got the same thing, we've got that stop, and they come unstuck, okay, and then we're back in in the chorus again. We play on the first beat of the instrumental, so, then we're in the bridge again, and we play all the way through that until the last two bars. Um, can't have it any other way, and then in verse three, we're going to do, I swear she's destined for the screen, three, four. Closest thing to Michelle Pfeiffer that you've ever seen, oh. Okay, then we're into the last chorus. It's a triple chorus, so we don't play in the first half of the first chorus. We play after eight bars, like we do in the first verse again, okay? And you're just going to keep that bass drum pan all the way through. Just make sure you're concentrating, because the last chorus has four extra bars than you think it does, okay? So just make sure you're counting, all right? When you see this symbol, if you're not sure what that means, that means play the bar that you've just had again. So it just means repeat that bar basically however many times and then it has a number above it saying um, how many times you've played that bar in total in that section. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. If you're not sure, watch the video again and watch out for the bass drum part and see if you can play along with it and then when you record yourself, that'll be fine. All right, so bass drum done. Okay, if you wanna play the congas cowbell part, get your saucepan ready. Let me find the music. There it is. Okay, so you're going to have your bin, again, same way, tilted away from me like this, okay? And our pattern for our congas, we're going to have the lower of the two notes is going to be our hand in the middle, playing the sort of like we did with our bass drum, okay? And then our, our higher note is going to be um, 
it's kind of like a djembe technique so you're going to have your hand cupped like that and you're going to hit the rim like that on the outside okay so it's going to give you a high sound so you're going to get i'll teach you how to play that slowly in a second okay so your rhythm is low notes and then high high low high okay so you've got the at the end okay so you've got So if you want to join in with me, we'll try that together. Ready? A one, two, three, four. Low, high, high, low, high, low, high, high, low, high. Okay. Uh, obviously, it's going to be a bit faster than that when we put it all together. You've also got a little bit of like an upbeat in your in your sort of at the end of your first line, kind of like a at the end. So that kind of introduces the congas a little bit earlier than everything else. So you're going to have. So when you have that upbeat, you're going to need to count one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Comes on that last beat on beat four in that bar, okay? So just make sure you count and then watch the video if you're not sure for that timing, okay? So let's try that together. Let's try it from where we come in. I'll give you one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay? Let's try it together. Ready? One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Low, high, high, low, high, low, So that's your pattern that you play all the time, right? When we get to the pre-chorus, you've got to stop again like the bass drum does. So you're going to do two, three, four, five, six, stop there, okay? And then when we're in the chorus, we do exactly the same as normal again. It's the same pattern. So once you've got that pattern, that's the only pattern we're going to be using. It's easy. You can kind of just get into the groove of it, all right? Verse two, again, same as verse one we don't play at the beginning. But then we've got, okay, so we've got our sort of upbeat into that again. Pre-chorus, again, we've got that stop, and then chorus, we just play all the way through that, okay? When we get to the instrumental, the we need to do instrument change. You've got ages to do it, so it doesn't need to be like a massive rush, okay? So you've got instrumental, which is the do 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 and then we've got the bridge, I just wanna, I just wanna know. So we don't play in that either. Then we've got verse three, I swear she's destined for the screen. Closest thing to Michelle Pfeiffer that you've ever seen. And then we're in. So you need to be ready with this, okay? So you get what you can do. Hold your wooden spoon with your handle in your hand, okay? Hold it quite loose so that you get a good sort of bounce off your saucepan. Saucepan like that, and you're gonna do, so you're going to play on beats two and beat four, but you're going to play quavers on that on beat two. So you're going to go rest, da, 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 da. Okay, and that's your rhythm all the way through that section, all the way to the end. Okay, so you're going to do one, two, three, four. <laughs> Try and hit it in the middle so you get a nice resonant sound like that. Now it's not kind of sound like a bit of a cowbell -y kind of sound. Okay. Try not to keep it too close to whoever's recording it or whatever because it'll come through really piercing on the recording. We just want it to be nice and kind of metallic sound, but not like it's going to hurt your ears. Okay, so uh, you do that all the way to the end, then all the way through all those choruses. So keep that nice and steady. You're actually one of the only instruments playing in that first chorus um, at the end. So just make sure you, we can kind of hear you and see you because you're going to help keep everyone in time. Um, and just make sure you're happy with that last chorus because it's got four extra bars. Remember, don't forget that. All right, and then on your last note, you're going to do for that last bit. So you're going to, your last four bars are going to be with everybody. Okay, so everyone's on that last note together. All right, so that's your cowbells conga part done. Let's get our shaker next. Okay, so shaker. So when you're doing your shaker, make sure you hold it nice and loose in your hand. Try and do your first beat a bit higher up because that will keep you a bit more in time. Chicka, 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 okay? Uh, so that's the sort of pattern you're going to play all through verses and pre-choruses. It's just um, eight, eight quavers in a bar. So one, two, three, four. Like that, that's your pattern. All right. When we're in the pre-chorus, we've got that stop again, the same as everybody else can you see in that sort of seventh bar in that pre-chorus and then in the chorus we're just playing off beats chap 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 so make sure when you're only playing a crotch it or one beat you've you've got to really fling it and make sure you fling it for that uh for it to land exactly on that beat otherwise it sounds kind of messy so you've got to chap 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 
imagine you throwing a frisbee really hard, okay? So that's actually two patterns. Checker, 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 check and jap, 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 okay? So once we've done that chorus, we're back into the verse. Checker, 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 check. And back to pre chorus with our stop. Ready, stop. Chorus again. Chap, 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 chap. Okay, so those are your patterns. Bridge, chap, 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 chap. And then uh, we don't play in that third verse, but then we're back in the chorus again and we're in all the way to the end. Chap, 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 chap. Okay, so just make sure you're really happy on that beat. Okay, you're playing with the cowbell and the conga on there as well. And again, Four extra bars on that last chorus, don't forget. Okay, finally, you've got your walk part, which is your toms and cymbals on your drum kit. It's the same as that part, okay? So, this is the trickiest one, okay? Uh, so, you will, firstly, you've got uh, four different notes that you need to have a look at in your key, okay? So, the one that's, uh, the first note that you can see in your key, which is above the stave, that's what you would normally have as a cymbal, uh, like a crash cymbal hit, okay? So, it's gonna ring on. So to mimic that, we're gonna hold it the handle of the spoon and we're gonna hit it with the with the actual spoon part to give a really good resonant thing. And you're gonna hit it sort of here on this rim bit here to give a nice sort of ringing effect, okay? So you're gonna hit that on the start of the chorus. So it's gonna go um, a one, two, three, four, ding, on the beginning of that chorus, okay? And then we don't do anything else then for ages. So we kind of got like quite a long way to wait for all of those sections. Then we come in again on that second chorus, exactly the same. Okay, so we don't have much to do yet, but our second half is quite tricky. So, into the instrumental, we've got a bit of a fill. So, for those notes, you're going to swap your spoons around. So, you're going to be holding from now on, you're going to be holding the spoon bit in your hand and you're going to use the, um, the handles um, to hit your walk with. Okay. So our next note that you can see in our key is that we're gonna hit the walk in the middle. So that's the one that's in the third space up from the bottom and you're gonna hit it here, okay? So you get that kind of lower sound. Okay, so that's your sort of upbeat into the instrumental. So you go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, like that, okay? Um, so let's try that together, ready? I'll give you one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and ready? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, like that, okay? So you can alternate your hands, that will help it go faster as well. And then, We've got sort of this upbeat figure into the into uh, the bridge section. So you've got da, da, da on your middle, and then can you see we've got a new note there, which is in that top space, and that's going to be over here. So the same bit you were hitting for the symbol uh, in the chorus, but we're going to do it with the handle this time. That's why it's got a different symbol, okay? Because you want a different sound. So you're going to go like that. Da, 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 da. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four. So you gotta just make sure you change on the right beat. Like that, okay? Let's try it together. One, two, three, four, one. And again, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so that figure when it comes back in all through the bridge is exactly the same. So you're gonna get I just wanna, I just wanna know. If you're gonna, if you're gonna stay, I just gotta, I just gotta know, I can have it, I can have it any other way, and that's the end of your bridge there, okay, so that, that figure is the same every single time, da, 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 there, okay, then we're into verse three, we don't play here, uh, and then we've got chorus, so we don't play in that first chorus, but then we've got a little fill here, and we're just going to do it on that middle part of that walk, nice easy one but what we are the bit that changes us from being a really small instrumental group to being the whole group okay so this is the bit that kind of needs to be really loud so play it really nice and loud really strong but then be ready because you've got your fourth from final symbol here so this is the cross that's on the top of the stave and this is what would normally be like on the on the kind of choke symbol okay so we're gonna have it here because you're gonna want a really tinny sound so right on that that rim there of your actual uh sword pan or walk like that, so you want that tinny sound. Kind of similar to the cowbell sound that we had here. That's the kind of sound we want. We want it really sort of ch ch that sound, okay? So you're gonna have your fill in bar 132. and cha cha cha. So that's quite a tricky change. You gotta make sure you're ready for that change. So if we go from the last bar, um, bar 132 of that chorus, okay? So that fill, ready? I'll give you four in. One, two, three, four. 
playing and you're just playing off beats then for that whole chorus. And then we've got another fill in bar 148. So this time we're going to use two different notes. Can you see we've got that middle one there and we've got the rim as well. So I would do one hand for each one, one hand for the middle, one hand for the rim, okay? So you're going to go rest, da, 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 okay? So low, high, high, low, low, high, okay? Like that, ready? Try it together, slow. One, two, three, four, rest. Like that, okay? So let's try that together. A one, two, three, four. Good, excellent. And then we're into the last chorus and we've got this new rhythm here. Which is the same as what the sauce pan's playing for the cowbell, okay? So from that bar, bar 148 with that upbeat, you're gonna get this. A one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's try that together. A one, two, three, four. Like that, good, well done. Okay, so I think we should try all the way from that core, the upbeat into that second chorus, so 132, where we've got that first fill after that chorus. And we'll try that whole thing to practice going from the to the fills, all right? So, one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, get ready, 13, 14, 15. I think you like that all the way to the end, okay? So just make sure again, we've got those extra four bars in that last chorus, so make sure you're really happy with your structure there, okay? So that's how you play all the junk percussion parts. All right, so if you want to do that, um, that'd be great because we need some people to play those as well uh, otherwise it would just be me so if you're playing another instrument and you want to play junk percussion as well that's fine doesn't matter you don't need to be a percussionist necessarily to play all these the easiest one is definitely the shaker um, or the bass drum okay these are a little bit more tricky you need a bit more handwork on the other two so um, send your videos into this email address by the 20th of June um, and if you've got any questions or you're not sure about anything, just give me an email as well. Can't wait to see them all. Um, happy playing.